Uh, okay. So we've got some stuff that we can look at. Use the glass case. Uh, it's locked. It's locked. Okay, so maybe we need a key or something. Got some boxes here. We've got some plants. That's Amber's room. That's Flint's room. Okay, so maybe we can look for some clues in Flint's room because he's gone missing. Wait, Let's go and check in locked. here. Oh. But why? This is mighty suspicious, doll. Wasn't there a hole in the study wall? You know, that one that you used to crawl through when you were younger. You're right, Snoop. Maybe I can still fit through. It's worth checking out. All right, okay, so we need to go to the study. I guess, weird decoration, what is That's this? Just... It's just weird. Yep, it's weird. It's like a shoelace up the wall, that's so strange. Okay, so we can go, we need to go to the office, which means we can call through the hole in the wall, which is kind of strange to be honest. Oh, hello. Who on earth are you, Rusty? Hello, Rusty, what are you doing in my house? Hey there, Rust, it's been a while. Sure has, Snoop, still walking the beat? Not lately. I finally took some time out to sort things out. He's pretending he's retired. It takes a lot out of him, apparently. Well, you couldn't have picked a worse time to retire, Snoop. Things are getting close to boiling point down in the city. What's going on, Rust? Wish I could tell you, Bear. I'm as clueless as the rest of them. One thing I know is that I was working at the steel mill one day. The damn place got blown up. Interesting. Okay, so do you know anything about the Red Man? That would be useful because this is the dude that we're trying to get to. We've heard rumors about some Red Man. Know anything about that? I sure do. He's the damn reason all this is happening, Bear. Ooh. So this Red shows up down in PC. This was a week ago. He goes after the thugs first, gathers information and such. No one thought nothing of it. A couple of beaten up low lives here and there. It's a common trade with these guys, you know? Then, the fire started. I hear a couple of guys down from the coal district gathered a posse, trying to corner this bird. No one heard from him since. And those guys are miners, Bear. They're as tough as nails. Who is? Those guys, Ted. What kind of information is he after? Well, here's the funny part, Snoop. I heard he was asking a lot of questions about our beloved miss here. That's why I'm here. After Doris and the kids left the city, I figure I'd come here and make sure Amber stays safe. Ah, now, so he's here to protect don't you us. be dragging her on one of your ill-advised adventures, Bear. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Anyways, why would this guy be going around asking about her? You know anything about this, doll? Anyone whose life you're messing with? Besides mine, I mean. Angry boyfriend, perhaps? Don't get smart. I never heard of this red guy until tonight. Besides, you're the only man in my life, Bear. <laughs> Who's getting smart now? So, what kind of information is this guy after, Rust? Haven't I told you about this already? He's asking about our little miss here. Is he alright? He's fine. He's just sleepy and grumpy. And, like, totally not drunk. Nah, I'm fine. I'm just sleepy and grumpy because she dragged me out in the middle of the night on some wild goose chase. Nice to see you two are getting along after all these years. Interesting. Okay, okay. So we've heard the city is in lockdown. I guess we can go for this one next. We've heard the city is in lockdown. Sure is. It's been like that since the mill exploded. The official statement is that there was a gas leak down at the basement level. But we all know better. Okay, okay. How'd you escape the gas leak? Uh, so there's... Uh, let's go with this one. How'd you escape? I used the east tunnel maintenance shaft, but the thing was getting close to collapsing. I think they closed it off completely after I got through. Okay, so this leaves... So no one enters or leaves the city at this point. So no one leaves or enters the city at this point? That's what the lockdown implies, Bear. Folks are still escaping, though. I hear some of them got here through the tunnels. Them mugshot boys were the first to flee, and poor old Millie. I hear she got here safe. Millie's in my room. She's resting. Bless your kind heart, little miss. I'll stay here in the hallway. Keep an eye out. Can you do it, Rust? You seem kind of tired. I ain't no bunny, little miss. Some buster tries to pull a fast one on me, I'll give him a little chin music before I drop a dime on him to the elbows. Ooh. Okay, um, so Rusty is a bit of a badass as well. He can do it. All right, so one more. So you think it wasn't an accident? You think someone is trying to cover something up? I wouldn't go that far, miss. My suspicion is that the officials don't want to make a big deal out of it. Keep the folks at ease. What about the mill owner, that Deeds fellow? He made any enemies lately? Filed any big insurance claim or something? Nah, Bear. 
Mr. Deeds is a straight up bird. Besides, his son was down at the mill when it happened. He had got a little ear buzz his own. Interesting. Okay, got it. Uh, okay, so we got a couple more to get through here. Have you seen Flint, Rusty? Millie told me he might be missing. I'm sorry, little miss. I'm afraid I haven't seen your brother. But I'm sure he's fine. Flint is a tough kid. Besides, no one has left or entered this room since I got here. Okay, fair enough. So, last one. Do you know anything about the Yellow King? You know King? anything about the Yellow King? No, really. I guess they left the thing wide open. Like, open to interpretation. I personally didn't think much of it. Alright, fair enough. Well, we better get cracking. Catch you later, Rust. Sure thing, Snoop. Thank you, Rusty. Bye. Bye, Bye Rusty. Miss. Don't worry about your brother. I'm sure he's alright. Well, we are going on a mission to try and find him. Alright, okay, so here's the study in our house. So this big rusty dude is here to help protect us. Because apparently these bad guys have been mentioning our name, which is kind of weird. Oh, there's the hole in the wall. I mean, is there anything here that we can take? It looks pretty. The sand, I bet, came from somewhere far away. That dim-witted boy sells these down at the local market. So the sand probably came from... Nope, somewhere far away. Maybe some desert. Sure, the desert. <laughs> okay, God, he's such a pessimist. Okay, can we use the globe? Can we, can we take Let's the globe? Let's take this bad boy for a spin. Spin it! Woohoo! <laughs> uh, apparently I got an achievement for that. Okay, cool. Um, so, is there anything interesting Lex here? Lex iniusta non es Lex? Bunny made up words. Although, nice. they have a certain righteous ring to them. Mm, interesting. Okay, so is there anything... Ooh, ooh, use Anubis statue. What does that do? Does that open a secret passageway or something? That would be epic. Please open a secret passageway. Come on, come on, come on. Go on, bear. Let's go. Push it. Oh, it's broken. <laughs> Fallen statue. There's a number written underneath. 107. Ooh. What does it mean? 10-7's the police code for an unconscious or a dead person. That's a little grim. I don't make the rules. I sure as hell don't follow them either. Mm, I thought that was maybe like some code or something, but apparently not. All right, let me just double check everything in here. We've got a painting. We've got something it's up a there. Decorative plaque of some sort, or an award for wood chopping. I don't really know. All right, okay. There's this book that looks a book weird. Book titled "Indoctrination of Roman Dutch Law in the Courts of South Africa." Well. That makes no sense whatsoever. All right, okay, fair enough. So, uh, anything here? Have we got anything we can grab? I don't think so. Use the cabinet. Okay, there might be something in the cabinet. Just before we go through the hole in the wall, let's go and double check. Anything in there? Come on, open it up. Ooh, yes. What do we take? Hey, a flashlight. But there are no batteries inside. <laughs> There's bound to be some in the house. We can ask Rusty if he'll give us one of his. I'll take the flashlight with me. No, I've got a, I've got a battery. Look, look. This won't work. It usually takes two or more of these. Oh, right. Okay, okay. So I guess maybe we'll just ask Rusty for a battery and then because it might be dark in the hole, maybe? I don't know. I guess there's one way to find out. <laughs> Man, this game... Oh! Oh! What the hell? What was that? I don't know, Ted. Lights? Tricks? Yeah, I guess. I'm getting too old for this. Thing. This thing. Yeah, sounds right. Not really. What just happened there? Did you see that? Oh, that was so creepy. Okay, Rusty, give me your batteries, buddy. Give me them sweet lady batteries. Come on. Rust, we need a big favor. What's this about, Bear? Rusty, we need a battery for our flashlight. We thought you could help us out. Sure, I got batteries, but here's the problem, miss. Uh -oh. If I give you a battery, I gotta shut down for the rest of the night, and I have to keep an eye out. Ah, uh, okay. Can't we just have one? Can't you give us just one battery, Rusty? You'll still have a couple of them left, right? Here's the thing, little miss. It's a closed circuit. She knows. She's just playing on your soft side, Rust. <laughs> take the edge off? We could take some of that edge off, Rust. Why don't you rest your eyes for a bit and let me and the doll here take over? You? <laughs> no offense, Bear. I respect you as much as anyone in Paper City, but this here is different. I don't think you could handle this red guy on your own. You should take care of Miss and Millie and leave the patrol to me. Mm. Are you saying I'm not qualified for watch duty? We have to wrap this thing up. Fast. There's a bottle of carrot juice in my desk that's longing for my return. We can keep an eye out for anyone suspicious in the meantime. Besides, you know I'm more than qualified. That nasty business from a couple of years ago, with them robots going missing. I was the one that brought that whole shady affair down and you know it. Are you trying to play me, Bear? I know you had nothing to do with that. That thing went so high up, there's no chance in hell Snoop like you even got close to wrapping it up. 
You seem to have blown a fuse there, Rust. It was me who cracked that case, and I can prove it. I have the case file and the credentials, handed to me by the commissioner in my office somewhere. Okay, okay, settle down there, Bear. Let's make a deal. You show me the credentials, and I'll hand over the battery. It's not that I don't believe you. I just want to make sure you're not playing me as all. All right, okay. So we've got to go back to uh, uh, Mr. Now, Bear's office. Away. Oh my god, Ted, you're not supposed to read the brackets. A do-over? <laughs> Keep it rolling! We should get to my office, doll. There's an old file I have to find. What's right. this whole deal about anyways? Why can't he just give us a battery? We can keep an eye out. Rust is having a hard time coping with what happened. He worked in that mill for over 20 years, and now, suddenly, he's got nothing to do. Let's just do this to humor him. Poor Rust. Okay, you're right. Let's find that file. I think by the time this is over, we're going to meet a lot of people in his position. All right, okay, so we've got to go to Mr. Bear's uh, office to find a file, which we swap then with Rusty, and then if we swap it with him, he'll give us a battery, he'll power down, and then we can use the flashlight, I'm guessing, to go into the hole. Now, the weird thing is, we already actually have a battery, but it's not big enough, so I was thinking, well, maybe we can swap that battery with Rusty, but it seems like he needs some big boy batteries, you know what I mean? So, let's go and check. There should be an old file here somewhere. Nasty business from a couple of years ago. The robot union hired me to look into several cases of robot kidnappings. I remember. That CEO of Illuminarium, Skinner, used robot parts to manufacture headlights at low prices. Yep, I brought down that whole shady deal. Almost got shot in the process. Rust finds me unqualified for lookout duty. Probably thinks I'm a burnout. You're not a burnout, Ted. I mean, you were more driven before, but I understand you've had a lot on your mind lately. Anyways, I'm really glad you're with me on this one. Sure thing, doll. What, am I going to say no to you? Thanks, Ted. Don't mention it, partner. Partner! Yeah, he likes us. Woo okay, let's go and check the file cabinet, and let's see if we can find this case. There. Um, is this it? Yep, that's the one. Let's head back to that hothead robot. All right, okay, okay. Let's go back now, and let's go and get this bad boy battery. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, we're loading up, we're loading up. Okay, okay, let's go and get this, go and swap this thing. So what is this actually? Like, out of interest, what is this? This is credentials. Okay, so we can't read them. Let's go and swap. Having trouble finding your proof of confidence, Snoop? I'll find it. It's somewhere in my office. I know that much. Sure thing. Take your time. I'll be here if you need me. Right, okay, so let's give these documents here to Rusty. There we go. There you go, buddy. Signed and authorized by Commissioner Locke himself. Anyways, we really need that battery now, Rust. Time's a factor here. So it was you. I'll be damned. That was a big deal for us robots, you know? I always held you in high regard, Bear. But you just earned my utmost admiration, let me tell you. You can have my battery. I can use a little shut-eye, to be honest. Keep an eye out, and keep little miss here safe. Oh, and check on Millie from time to time. Make sure she's all right. Thanks, Rust. We won't let you down. Thank you so much, Rusty. Get some sleep. We'll wake you up in the morning. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we've got Rusty's batteries. Now we combine them with a flashlight. Hey, I got it working. Yeah, nice. Did you hear that? That was a weird noise. I don't know what noise that was. Okay, so let's go back in the study and let's go and check out this hole in the wall. Um, and let's go and see. Okay, here we go. Maybe we need the flashlight for this. I'm not too sure, to be honest. We did click this earlier, but... This hole leads to Flint's room. It's covered in cobwebs, though. That's so gross. Go in, Ted, and check it out. I'll wait for you here. I'm sorry, doll. As much as crawling through spider-infested holes sounds appealing to me, I have to pass. See, spiders tend to nest in my fur, and then I have to take a bath and go through this whole fumigation process. <laughs> it's a mess. Oh, no. Okay, so can I do it? This hole leads go in. No, okay, so she doesn't want to go through it at all. Okay, that's kind of weird. So there's another there's another room here that we haven't yet gone in, but we're still also looking for some keys because we need keys for the um the locked doors. So parents' room, can we go in here? We haven't been in here yet. This is like the only room that we haven't been in apart from the locked ones. It's locked. Oh, I mean, of course it is. Ah, interesting. Okay, so. We're clearly missing something here. Um, save point? Oh, it's a save point. What the heck? A save point. 
Nah, oh. just kidding. <laughs> what is this, Resident Evil? We have auto-save you, dingus. Oh, great. Okay, this game's always safe. All right, so can we talk to Rusty? Okay, he's sleeping. Uh, so I guess maybe we'll go and check up on Millie now because Rusty did say that we had to go and check up on her. So let's go and do that. Let's go back into Amber's room. But we need... Oh, I've just noticed there's an attic. Oh, maybe we need the flashlight to get into the attic. Yeah, that sounds sad. Okay, okay, let's talk to Millie. Let's just see what she has to say Be quickly. Be careful, you two. All right, okay, that's literally all she has to say. Fantastic. All right, so maybe we need to go into the attic because we've got the flashlight for it. That would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Okay, can we open this? A door that leads to the attic. No, really, that's all there is to it. It leads to the attic, hence the name, the attic door. Ah, okay. Oh, we haven't been in the bathroom yet. Can we go in there? Yeah, we can. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So new room, new room, new room. Ah, it's so exciting. Oh, it's dark. Hey, this is why we needed the flashlight. Oh, it all makes sense now. All right, so we got a bathtub. We got some grooming yeah, products. I'm pretty as it is. Oh, I, I thought we were going to use the grooming products on the bear because he needs like. They're my mom's. I'm not really sure what they're for. Okay, interesting, interesting. It's full of bathroom stuff. Toilet paper. Classic TP found in most bathrooms. Classic What's there left TP. to say that hasn't been published in Science Weekly already? Am I right? Am I right? Okay, toilet. Where's the money, Lebowski? Nice. Okay, okay. Very 90s reference that no one's going to get. Okay, so it could be the trash can. Is there anything in here? I'm not going through trash. It's just my work ethic. Huh, so there must be something. No, but nice try, Mom. There must be something in here. Wall cabinet? It's full of uninteresting stuff. Hmm, mirror? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who will be a beautiful princess who's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies? Um, you are oh. Amber? Like for totes. I knew it. Did that thing just talk? I don't know. Did it? <laughs> okay, so the bathroom mirror is talking to us. That's not weird at all, is it? Uh, so we've got some pills. We've got some creams. Just some stuff I don't really care about. Got the bathtub? You should really know what this is by now, buddy. It's where I take long showers and contemplate life. Also, I sing. Hmm, okay, so what are we missing here? There must be something, because otherwise we wouldn't have had to use the flashlight. Uh, cleaning stuff, a duster. What's that? Can we pick that up? Can we take that? Can you see that? Are we taking that? Yes, we are. This huh. duster may come in handy. I'll take it with me just in case. Okay. So, oh, could we dust away the cobwebs? Hey, that's a really good idea. Okay, okay, so maybe, maybe just may- Oh! Have you seen What's him happening? yet? What is this? Doll, you seeing this? I, I, I don't know, Ted. What was that? It's fine. It's nothing, probably. It's the middle of the night and the light is playing tricks on us. Let's go. Okay. Man, this is so weird. Like, every time we leave a room, some just crazy stuff happens. All right, okay, so let's go and uh, let's go to the, the room with the cobwebs in because maybe what we can do is, like, dust away the cobwebs and then the bear can crawl through them. So this is this is just a bit of a pun, you know? I don't really know if this is going to work, but let's try it because you never know, right? So if we get the duster and use it on the cobwebs, come on. Is this going to work? Please work. Come on. Come on. I think it's going to work. Yes. Yeah. There, I cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure you would. <laughs> okay, okay, so are we now the bear? <laughs> okay, oh, we saw places with Mr. Bear. Exciting. Oh. The case was spinning out of control. So fast, I had to hold onto my hat. Nothing made sense, and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine, who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill where Rust worked for years got blown to bits. Hundreds of hard-working, honest people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole damn city was burning up and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? According to Rust and Millie, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, He's become a synonym for fear throughout the city, and police and thugs alike are shuddering at the mention of his name. They call him the Red, Red Man. man. <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connected. My retirement, the fires, and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? It's all leading to her. 
I feel she is the key to all of this, the last piece of the puzzle I have to solve. Does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years we've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hellhole of the city. This bond I have with her will be the only threat I'll have to hold on to when things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. I've got to say, like, the art style of this game is just beautiful. Like, with these cutscenes and... Oh, hello! <laughs> Who on earth are you guys? <laughs> level 6 sword. Take. Take it. Take the level 6 sword. I'll just sell this sword and buy some revives for later. Nice. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We've got some clothes here. We've got some random people. Who are these? We've got some boxes, random papers, candy, glass, a car, pillow... This is like some kind of fort. Oh, these are the Mugshot Brothers. So these are the guys that we've talked about. They're not good people, apparently, according to Mr. Bear. I had a feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop. We didn't do it. And what exactly didn't you do? Whatever you're implying we did or didn't do. So you did it. It depends. Depends on what? If we did whatever you're hinting that we did, or for that matter didn't do, and if the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? But if not doing it, whatever it is you're implying we did or didn't do would put us in the same position as in the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. <sighs> This is going nowhere. If you weren't a crook, you could have had a career as a lawyer. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah? Well, if you weren't a snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive, see? Don't act smart with me, lowlife. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get-together might turn out ugly for you, too. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So why are you here, So, please? why are you here, exactly? That's none of your business, snoop. Listen here, you lowlife. I know you operate on the west side these days. I've seen you down with your face in the mud coming out from those 24-hour carrot bars near the harbor. I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful, or else. Oi, oi, Copernicus, how about you take a long walk down the shore pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, see? We know our rights. We pay them taxes and such. What's a snoop like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way before I take you two lowlifes in. Not that anyone would care. I can just say I found you that way, or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find yourself someone else you can bother, see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. Maybe he can help you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him in a while. You're saying he knows something. It's worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. It's just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Don't worry about that. Me and him go back a long way. He'll talk to me. Interesting. Okay, so we may have, like, another connection here that we have to go and see. So what about the you Red Man? You two lowlifes heard anything about the Red Man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days, see? Interesting. Uh, care for a bribe? You better cooperate. Well, if you cooperate. Maybe I can forget about that nasty carrot smuggling operation you two are running on the west side of town. Carrot smuggling? I don't know anything about no carrot smuggling, see? It's all for private use. My brother here is a big individual, and he needs his vitamins and such, see? Ain't that right, John John? Smuggling is such a strong word. That's mm. right, John John. He's got a funny voice. Okay, why'd you escape the city? Why'd you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country, see? We might take up fishing or hiking. Yeah, those types of things. That's just great news, Jimmy. I love it here. It's so relaxing. Sure, and your escape had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man. What Red Man? Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature, I do believe. You know who I'm talking about, so stop playing dumb. Not you, big guy. I know you can't help it. Help uh, what? What are we talking about? Forget it. <laughs> okay, so the big guy's kind of like the goon, and the small one is like the clever one. 
Where is Flint Ashworth? Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? Mm-hmm. Uh... No, I'm just asking because I started a barbershop quartet, and I need a strong baritone, but also someone that can take the lead if necessary. Nice. For these types of situations, you need someone that has a wider range. Shut up, John John. He's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing to do with his disappearance? Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, he's a tough kid. I'm sure he's fine. Sure, because kidnapping is way over the line for you two. It's one of the few things missing from your M.O. Maybe you thought you should step up the game. Who put you up to it? Whoa, whoa, as I said, we ain't no kidnappers, see? We may have our differences, you and I, but you know we would never go as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook for now. Hmm. Okay, okay, so that's that done. I just don't get why you would protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? Your memory's getting a bit better, eh? Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure, I can only imagine. What do you know about him? Not much, and the things we heard are mostly just stories. He's setting fires and whatnot down in the city, wants to see it all burn. See? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. Not even you. He's the reckoning this city was due for. He won't stop until everything is dust, and we lie forgotten in the sands of time. What? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, John John? Don't listen to him. He had a rough night. Hmm. Well, you two were useful as always. I have to go. When I come back, I hope for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? You trying to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The first one, yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe for you guys. Sure thing, there you go. Now don't go telling people we never helped you. It's like we're partners now, see? Sure. Ah, so we got a key. Nice. So that might open up one of the doors. Uh, the parents' room key. Nice. Okay, so I've, I've, I've just been looking at this for like we'll five minutes. We'll have to minutes. find another way. No, no, this thing here, the red cloth. We'll have to find it. Can, can we like see this? You see it? Well, this thing really stands out. It really does, dude. <laughs> so maybe that's a piece of clothing from the red man or something. Oh man, this is amazing. Okay, okay, okay. So I don't think there's anything left in here. Let's go to the, um, we've got that sword randomly, uh, which is kind of weird. So, oh no, hang on. Wait, wait, why don't we, why don't we like, can we, can we, can we like use the sword to grab this? No. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So I guess we'll just leave that there. Uh, let's go to the parents room now because that we've just got the key for that. So that might be really good. Let's go and tell Amber what we found. Those two clowns are in there, not being useful as always. Did you ask them about Flint? I did. They didn't know anything. I think they're just hiding from someone. The Red Man? That's my best bet, but who knows with those two. So Flint's not in there? No. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Well, we're not going to find him standing here. We should check other rooms. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room that they mm, totally just found lying on the floor. We should start there, then. Such forward ideas. You're going to be a fine detective one day. Thanks, Bear. You too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's go and check out the room. We've still got Rusty, who's just having a, a good old sleep. Um, so now we can unlock the parents' room. But what are we going to find inside? Oh, this game is so cool. There okay. should be a key around here no, no, somewhere. No no no, 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 no. I've got the key. I've got the key. I've got the key. There we go. So we use that on the parents' room key, like that. Yeah, look at that. Nice. It's unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. Okay, let's go in. Are we going in? Yeah, we're going in. Ah, ooh, nice room. Okay, so what have we got here? Plastic wrap. It's plastic wrap for your clothes, for some reason. I see a camera. Can we take that? Okay, that's a good start. If we get a camera, that's a useful item, I think. So let's grab that. I'll nice. take this film strip with me. Maybe I can develop it later. All right, okay. Uh, we've got some shoes under here. Where else to put them but underneath the bed where you sleep? Men, am I right? Am I right? Okay, well, is the cupboard? An armoire. That's fancy talk for closet. It is very fancy talk. And there's a lamp. Oh, fancy lamps. Why? 
<laughs> okay, so, oh, heavy dust curtain, uh, creepy dude, can we look at him? A painting of some guy, let's name him, Jeffrey. What do you think, Ted? I don't, but he does look like a Jeffrey. There Jeffrey creepy face, his eyes would follow us around the room, if he had any. Jeff for a creepy face. Okay, is there anything on the cupboard? We've got a door here, a dark room. Um, oh, if it's a dark room, do you reckon we can develop the film in there? We need some, like, fluid, some, like, development fluid. I don't know what this is. Oh, it is actually literally a dark room. Nice. Okay. So, maybe we can develop the film. Why are these... Can you see there's, like, lines around them? I wonder why. Huh. Oh, what was the code? 107? Did that work? Yeah, I remember. Uh, there we the go. Statue. It was the number from the statue. Not a police code for anything, Mr. I don't follow no rules. Nice. Hey, these are the liquids for developing pictures. I'll take them with me. All right, okay, now we're rolling, lads. Okay, so let's take the duct tape. I think we'll probably need that at some point. Let's just scavenge for some items here. I'll and then take what this I think tape with me. I can use it to tape Ted to a flagpole. <laughs> what I think we need to do here is we need to um, photo developing stuff. What we need to do maybe is we need to put the development liquid into the bowls. Like that. Nice. There. We just need the empty photo thingy to put it in. We can get it from that machine over there. You know okay. how to use that thing. Not yet, but I was voted most likely to figure stuff out in my school once. Okay, so the film enlarger, is that what we use? So we've actually got the film from the camera. So maybe this will tell us something about where Flint is. Is that going to work? Nothing happened. There's something missing. What's missing? Photo developing Just stuff? a bunch of stuff used to develop photos. Uh, what would be missing? Have we got anything that we can use? Uh, film strip? Is that going to work? Oh, that might work. Hey. Okay, click it again. Any Nothing good? happened. There's something missing. Huh. Okay, so we're still missing something. Uh, measuring cylinder. What's this thing on it the has... table here? No, that's not it. Uh, lights. No. Book. Jar. Roll of film. No, we can't pick An up that. Un... Jar. We can't pick up that. Uh, developing stuff. None of this we can pick Just up. Just a bunch of stuff used to develop photos. Hmm, so we put our film in the thing, but we need something on the bottom of it. Duct tape? <laughs> Will that do it? Do what with it? No, okay. Uh, okay, so we're missing something here. Hmm. Where would it have been? 